Sifo and the Green Belt Movement have been working in Mao Forest and Mount Elgon Forest Complex with community associations that have been managing forests and water. They worked with RUA and CFA in strengthening the governance of these resources as joint resources rather than separate resources. In the Rift Valley part of Kenya, most communities are known to be very patriarchal. C4 and its partners worked in the Mao Forest Complex, specifically in Londiani and Itari Forest, where they built the capacities of RUA and CFA on gender integration in forest and water management. So the training that was undertaken specifically on gender was mainly aimed at unlocking the potential, especially of women, such that they're also able to assume leadership positions, and they are also able to initiate activities, uh, even in their homes, such as tree nursery activities. In the gender integration on forest and water management capacity building, training was conducted on both RUA and CFA. The Green Belt Movement took lead in this training. Trainer of trainers, also known as TOTs, were trained who later trained the other community members. Among the TOTs were Jacqueline Chalangat and the Assistant Chief of Sotit Sublocation, Philip Chalule, who is also the Secretary of the Itare Chamosit RUA. Mambo ya agenda. Agenda ya wamama na wanaume. Ni tunataka changamoto ya wamama, wa, waelewane na, na mapwana. Wawache wamama, wakuche mkutani. Wase, wawache, wamama wawache wase, wakuche, waende mkutani. Alafu tufanya pamocha. Wenye we, ni, ni, e, ni Wako, wengine wako koiwa, wengine wako sorted, wengine wako mpomo sapa, wengine wako kapte pengwe. There are some perspectives inye naonekana hii kazi siyo ya wanawake, hii ni ya wanaume. E, nilikuja ni kamuambia bibi yangu, kamuambia sasa, nimekuwa responsible kwa kila kitu kwa hii nyumba. Na hii chai, minataka ni kuwachi. Kacharipu mara ya kwanza, tengeneza chai. Kaendelea, kaona kumbe kuna kilo inakucha kuile. Tukansa kutakukula mukate. <laughs> Ndiyo tukafura hiya sana. <laughs> Ndiyo nikaona, akipewa responsibility, anafanya. Women have got responsibilities to play. Ju most sisi kama Kalentin, wanaume ndi wanasimamia kila kitu and then kasi yako ni kupiga nyumbani. But when I was given time, like, alinipatia ni simamia matanitai. Mali pale niliona mbele nilishuri, lakini as time goes niliona inaenda vizuri. Jo, most of the, of the time vila likuwa nasimamia, labda kulikuwa na shortage or something, nikuwa ni mkoje, mbaka rude. Lakini saizi kazi ni raizi. Kenya ili nifutia most of the time alikuwa natoka, anaenda kwa hizi meeting. Jo, they are penalt in most of the meeting. And then the time nika, ata mi nika hizi nifunzwe. The time I was in the road and 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 I was in the road. As the TOTs were doing their work, they were faced with a few challenges. Jacqueline, for example, would not be allowed to talk in some sessions because she was a woman. In some scenarios, she was beaten by the community members. She has since reported an assault case with the police. She is following this up so that her incidents doesn't create a trend where female gender activists are assaulted. <laughs> Though there is progress in gender awareness, it is clear that more work needs to be done. In particular, there is need to safeguard against any hostilities and personal risks that women trainers of trainers face. There is also need to cultivate more male champions of women's empowerment, such as Assistant Chief Philip Chelule. <laughs>